previously on. I just realized something. Drawing blood requires needles. Sit there. And I hate needles. Oh my god, I should have said no. If you got any jet on you, I may be willing to take it off your hands. Say, 75 caps? You're asking me for jet? Knowing that your sister's right behind me, bro. A secret vault. Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junkie genius. Damn. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. Huh. This is... This sucks. Like... I just realized something. I unknowingly walked into a random vault. Met these wonderful people. They were very abdomen about me at first. Thinking I was gonna... Betray them somehow. And now look. They trust me enough to help save this poor boy that was bitten by this nasty ass mole rat. Poisonous enough to basically, you know, kill him slowly. But you know what they say killing me slowly with his song. Oh lord. Okay, well. As much as I don't want to do this, I don't want to see that boy die, so... It is what it is. That's from my, that's from what I learned from my job. Whenever some bullshit happens... Ah! Identify yourself. Anyways, wherever some bullshit happens at my job, my boss would tell me, It is what it is. Secure. Right. I could have sworn I had a companion, but I guess Ada decided to just chill. Whatevs. Damn, I'm really doing this by myself. I need some emotional compensation for this bullshit. Ooh, wow. Crazy. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's no bueno. There's look. <laughs> I mean, I know I've played this game a couple of times, but I'm always going to be jumpy, because that's me. There's no good loot around, like, hey, yo, where's the food? Then again, do I really want to look for food? Should I? Would I? I don't know. All right, let's see whatever bullshit waits for me. Ooh, cafeteria. Yes. You're really rude. <laughs> so rude to shoot me, bro. Like, y'all just shoot now, ask questions later. Sounds like a certain profession that I know. No shade. Maybe shade. Fuck it. Full shade. Wow, this toilet's pretty clean. For someone who's been hidden for how many decades? I am impressed. Okay. Can I hack this computer? Anyways... I'm just gonna randomly guess these passwords. I'm not really in the mood to hack, per se. Ah, whatever. Never mind. I'll just shotgun the whole thing.
Is that supposed to be the dramatic music? Because thanks, Fallout. I definitely want my anxiety to to turn it up a notch, you know? I love this. No. Oh, that you see? Bedesta and CD Project Red are basically sisters with the amount of glitches I see. Wow. I hate these glitches. And this game's been around for years now, and yet it's still glitched out. Then again, I guess that's what Bethesda does. Glitch R us the whole game. Oh, come on! I'm up the stairs! I'm up the stairs already, and now you want to attack me! Give me a break! Give me a break! Lord! Give me a break. I'm tired of y'all. I am tired! Make sure this whole thing is overblown, and Austin will be running around tomorrow. Overblown or not, we have to do what we can for Austin. I just don't know what I can do. Neither do I. Why is him? It's be just fine. You'll see. Katie. Do you not care about your son, my boy? You're being very nonchalant for someone whose son is dying. Anyways. Let me check this out. The cropped rotation implemented by the hydroponics manager has proven successful for supplying the vault with adequate food. We have not had to intervene, which has eliminated the risk that the vault inhabitants will discover the secret part of the vault. So far, they do not appear to subject the true nature of their vault. The greenhouse would be a perfect place to introduce class C4 and D1 viruses into the population, as well as potential cures should a disease get too virulent? I'm recommending installing hidden sprayers in the ceiling? Oh my god, this whole vault is a science project! That's... that's disgusting! That is so disgusting. Oh my god. Alright, let's go. Are you popping out? No. Well, this is gonna be a joy for you. You get to nag me and I can't go with you. Oh, shit. Oh, real nice, Holt. Make this about you. Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Your daughter could get sick like Austin, and you're whining about spending time with your family? I have things to do. We don't have to hide away in here. You're so busy, Halt. You have so much to do. Please, explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her safety. Just never mind. <sighs> idiot. I'm gonna close this door right here. Because I'm getting anxiety. Alright. Ooh. What the hell is going on with these noises? Okay. Let me check this one out. The Vol inhabitants have unexpectedly repurposed this room to be a kind of store for selling and repairing their possessions. It has allowed this observation port to record interactions between many of the Vault citizens. This shop will become an important disease vector for spreading airborne class B2 viruses? It will also be viable for observing the effects of disease on social and economic relationships. This room will become a backup treatment location along with the commissionary. The primary will still be the clinic under the assumption that severely ill patients will all be taken there. Holy shit. This is disgusting. Like, I am... They're all down there. Oh my god. 
They're all down there, giving me so much stress. You and stress. your staff are to make sure every resident remains under stringent medical observation. Understood. But overseer. No buts. This is for the good of the vault. We can't risk this pathogen spreading, Dr. Forsythe. Yes, overseer. How is Austin doing? Not good. The infection has progressed quite rapidly. Shit. We need a way to stop it from spreading. Then let's hope that outsider pulls through and gets us a cure. Okay, let me check this out. This is from the Overseer office. Although the chief scientist argued against an observation port in the Overseer's office, it has turned out to be a boon. We are able to observe the political shifts in governance since the vault door was locked. When we do introduce viruses to the population, we will be able to monitor the leadership's reactions and courses of action. Well, so far she is doing a tremendous job with making sure this disease doesn't spread. And whoever designed this vault, y'all messed up for that. Alright, where you at? Do I really have to come down, bro? Okay, good. Wooly! We Bang bong ah! Oh my god. I'm sorry. I play this game so many times and yet I still get jumpy. Like, don't come at me. Ooh. Ew, 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 ew. Yo! Bing bong! Oh lord, I hate these mole rats like dead ass! I wanna leave! Shit! The fact that this vault was used as an experiment for diseases, bro, is sad. It's really sad. And when I tell them that, they're gonna be so devastated. Holy shit! Bing bong! Can I close this door? Can I? Can I not close this door? Oh my god, disgusting! Oh shit! This is nasty! Woo! Oh lord! Oh lord! Oh lord! I know I got bit! I know I got bit! But thanks to my mods, I'm not gonna get the disease, so I'm good. <laughs> oh my god. I hate, I hate you all. Ooh, I'm getting money. Ooh, hold on. Alright. I like how Ada abandoned me. She's like, nah, fam, you'll be good. Oh my god, this is so nasty. All this is so nasty. I hate this. I hate everything about this mission, deadass. Alright, come out. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of the pop-up noises. Like, hurry up. Where you at? Expert, Tam. Oh, all right. Come on, pop up. Oh, that's horrible. That's great. A mutated, mutated rat. Because that's exactly what I need. A mutated, mutated rat. Anyways. Oh my god, bro. Come on! The mother? I'm dealing with mama rat? Okay. Ooh, she is messing me up, bro. Come on, stop! Woo! Alright, this is good. This is good. I like this. Like... 
We're getting somewhere with this, and I'm happy. The fact that they kept all these rats in cages, though. Who's coming? Hurry up! Pull up right now! That's what I thought. Ain't doing shit. Nah, I'm good. Bing bong! You see, I hate this. Like, if you're gonna jump, fucking jump. Okay, so I see here there's a couple names here. Testing, Dr. Olivier, do you copy? I do, Kenneth. Everything good over there? Just another drill day, right, Overseer? It is, and thank God for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Overseer, there are just three of us over here. What's going on? Olivier, are you getting this? Sorry, Kevin, it's been a madhouse on this side. Only three? Myself, Jim Flint, and that kid, Burrow. Where is everyone else? Now over here, residents are being admitted. They started showing up in drones once the news started broadcasting. That's the same way I heard. You'll think vault Tech would have had enough warning to call at least a beta drill for staff this morning. Something must have gone wrong. Okay. We've been... Pretty limited down here, but we've been focused on antibiotics and have our first pitchery trials underway. I saw the data last night. It's promising, but do you think it's ready? The trials just started, and the virus we're going after has a few days of inoculation. But I'm optimistic that later this week we'll see positive results. Okay, keep me posted. And don't begin phase two trials until I have an opportunity to go through the new data. Of course, have a good afternoon, Overseer. Wow, so the Overseer, the past Overseer, was fully aware of the experimentation. Fucking sick. Overseer, do you have a minute? This system isn't instantaneous, Burrow. I hope you haven't been waiting for a reply all morning. Sorry, Overseer. I wanted to notify you about an issue with our food extruder. Okay, I see it now. Looks like a clog in the protein tank. You weren't able to address it on your end? No, Overseer. Hardware failures on the residential side must be addressed over there. We can't get to the tanks or nozzles to repair them. Okay, Burrow. I'll have maintenance down there immediately. Go stand by and have Collins contact me if there are still issues in about 10 minutes, okay? Thank you, Overseer. I'll go there now. <sighs> Good news, Dr. Oviet. We've tweaked our formula based on phase one trial results, and I think we're ready to go with phase two. How's the mole rat population doing? Very well. The specimens vault Tech provided are remarkably hardy. Flint has been doing some radiation testing on them. Is that in the protocols? Not technically, but we noticed some weird stuff with the kibble provided for them. Burrow got pretty sick for a day or two. Don't ask. Flint's been looking into it. These suckers are big to begin with, and we're thinking it's genetic. Tampered with? Something like that. I think vault must have been running some experiments with them. They're all unusually large. A few demonstrate bioluminances. At least one appears more intelligent than normal. Do you think there's still a useful control? We've divided the colonies, separated the most unusual specimens, and put the control colony on a new diet taken from our own food supply. It's not ideal, but I think we're okay. Very well. Give me the evidence to go over your data again, but I think you're clear to begin phase two, unless I find anything I don't expect. Overseer. Yes, Borrow. What is it? I've noticed an issue with our delivery 
mechanisms. Do you know if anyone has tampered with the nozzles in the residential quarters on your side? I don't know. What are you doing with the delivery systems anyway? The phase two trial just began. I know, Rasir. I just thought it would be a good idea to run tests on the delivery system before we reach phase three. If we reach phase three, human trials are not to be undertaken lightly. What kind of tests were you hoping to run anyway? Just a placebo vapor to make sure the nozzles or dispensing missed properly. The residents wouldn't even know we had done anything. I guess that's the idea, though. I'll look into the nozzle issue on my end, Borrow. In the meantime, please do not use the delivery system without my direct approval. Doctor, please get in touch. I know what you've done. Honestly, I don't blame you. Performing the phase 3 trial on non-consenting humans is a breach of ethics, at least according to the world we used to live in. I can keep Borrow together for a while, but Flint's already suspicious. What are we supposed to do over here? I can only lie to them for so long without some actual response from you. Damn it, Oviet. You can't be such a hypocrite that you've condemned us to die in the name of your personal sense of mortality. I know your politics, but I never thought you'd be- I never thought you'd actually leave men for dead. Please consider this. Wow. And that's it. Huh, and the password, I got it. Nice. So the past overseer was- Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. So the past overseer was aware of the experiments. That's messed up. Whatever. Alright, so... I got the password here. You know, that thing's just gonna keep going in and out, in and out. Hate that shit. Alright. Let me in. Okay, let's go. I don't know what else I'm expecting, but... Wish me the... What the... Wow, they're... Are these supposed to be... Caskets? Oh my god, they're caskets of these scientists. Wow, that's so sad. Hello? I detect intruders. Please neutralize them. Oof. So I assume you're talking about that one random weirdo that's popping out, huh? Alright, I'll get you, random weirdo. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. Why do you keep on going in and out? I hate glitches. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I have gotten rid of all of your intruders, so please, you talk to me. Are you Voltec security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Who the heck are you? I am a Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, or CVR-IE. The human mm. scientists call me Curie. Or more properly, they call me this when they were alive. Madame Curie. Are you vault Security? These mole rats carry a disease. Do you know anything about it? My poor little darlings. They were used to grow all manner of new and interesting pathogens. Then Vault citizens would be exposed to these viruses in the hopes that they would develop new antibodies. But they never got the chance to execute their plan. Thank Clyde God. Got out of his cage. He was smarter than the others. My sweet Clyde. He let out the others and those poor scientists never stood a chance. Clyde's been dead for almost two centuries now, but his descendants have free run of the Vault. I'm rambling. Where are my manners? Are you vault -Tec Security? Do I look like vault -Tec Security? Jeez. Over the long years, who is to say what is fashionable now? True, 
Your attire is a bit dirty. Damn. Not at all. People properly value the importance of hygiene and cleanliness. Damn. I'm pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Why can't you just leave? I require verbal or written authorization. Actually, any Voltec employee, even you, could authorize me. You must be Voltec, or you couldn't possibly be here. Huh. These mole rats were lab rats? Why, yes. I've grown quite fond of them over the years, but they outlived their usefulness 83 years ago. Damn. Heck no. I'm just a girl looking for the cure to a mysterious disease. You're quite certain? Perhaps you just misplaced your papers. Or In you're fact, naive. Papers are not strictly necessary, no? Mm, fuck it. <sighs> I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Um, after 83 years? You have such patience, if that's the case. Since you are a Voltec representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. Yes! If that is all, I am most eager to leave. You only have one dose? That is correct. There used to be more, but they all expired. Sadly, the organic compounds necessary to make more have all deteriorated. How convenient. You're just giving me the cure? My primary responsibility is to obey the orders of specified vault personnel, even if those orders violate my ethical matrix. But since you have graciously discharged me of this duty, I can give you the cure without directly disobeying my previous order. And if you happen to use the cure to save a life, then this is just a happy coincidence, no? Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. Wow, it is so convenient that you mentioned this happy coincidence indeed. Let me just take a look at this terminal real quick. Let me see here. Okay, we are entrusting you with a mission that is critical to all humanity. Vault 81 will be used to wipe out disease as we know it in the human race. Your, partic your partition of the vault has been equipped with state-of-the-art medical research equipment, including the new Contagions Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, aka Curry. And, just to let you know, Curry, this character is named... After the scientist, Madame Curry, look her up. She's pretty awesome. Shout out to Curry. Anyways, there is a century's worth of biological and chemical supplies. There are the genetically adapted mole rats, and most importantly, a vault full of test subjects. As with all great progress, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. You will be infecting the people of the vault with diseases in an attempt to have them develop antibodies? That sounds pretty, pretty familiar with what's going on today. I'm not going to go into details due to not trying to get demonetized. <clears throat> Some may not survive, but you must ensure that a breeding population is always maintained. It will make it would take many generations, but with proper procedures, you should be able to develop a disease resistant group of humans. Your work will be the work of generations. Each generation of scientists must select a chief scientist. Curry will make sure that each reads this mission statement to keep the vault focused over the centuries. We wish you the best of luck. Yeah, fuck off. Ooh. There we go. Yay. Alright, let me see. Is there anything I can... Nope, there's nothing here.
It is good not to be stuck in the quarantine. Huh. Huh. Very ironic that you said that. Very ironic. Alright. Let's booty bounce this place. We must consult the professors at the university. They could provide many answers. Honey, there is no university. Just to let you know, this whole herb has been bombed to death. You'll see. You'll see. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.